Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my private office with um, an ankylosed implant case. Uh, we're dealing with teeth numbers 6 through 11 um, from canine to canine. I'll show you, go ahead and show you where the implants were placed. Uh, we, uh, we had some question about the placement of uh, Implant on number six. It looked a little too angled to the lingual. Um, surgeon said it's integrated. We're going to go ahead with it. The other implants are in the number eight position, number uh, 10, and number 11. I went ahead and just loosened the, the uh, healing uh, abutments already. These healing abutments are tapered, and each one of the tapers are... Um, are indicated as to how far uh, these gingival formers are below the gum line. And so, you know, a 1.0 millimeter gingival former is going to be a little different shape than that of, say, a 3.0 or 1.5 different. So you have to you have to know your shapes and um, and and also the position. All right, now we're going to go ahead and remove one at a time, as we always do. Start with the upper right. We'll unscrew the healing abutment. Okay, that one's out. And now we'll scrub that. One of the, the primary things the surgeon was talking about with these types of implants is the fact that they are um, have a very good seal to them um, meaning that there's such an intimate fit between the the abutment and the fixture that uh, they don't really rely on that uh, tension of the screw itself how you doing okay her yeah, just let me know if you need anything. Okay, so I'm just suctioning out. It's all routine. We just go through. We're just trying to keep our patient very comfortable as we go through a routine here. All right, now, with that being said, you look at a close-up of a sanclos. You can see the tissue growing nicely all the way around the head. They do um, treat the head of the implant because they want to s induce as much of the biologic principles as they can, including... Uh, bone growth. All right. So here's our first implant abutment. We'll put that in place. All right. And there it is. You can actually feel it click in. Um, and now I'm going to use a driver. Great. Okay. Let's see if we can start this uh, first. I'm sorry. Go ahead and hold this for me. Let's see if I can. All right, you know what? Let me let me just go ahead. And I'll see if I can hand hand tighten it from here. Yep, we're good. Okay, so that's the first one. Got really close to that adjacent tooth, and uh, and also the angle. And that's hand tightened in place. So let's dry that off. Okay. All right, let's move on to our next one. White Teflon tape for the uh, implant paper that we use. Again, chlorhexidine, gluconate. 
I call it cavity cleanser and we just go right in place transferring left okay okay and then we'll just micro suction that out all right great all right feel a little pressure Herm you okay a little bit of pressure not much it's a little bit Okay, get the longer driver on this one. Maria, you can go above in the buffer zone to the left cabinet above the handpiece. All the way to your left, you'll see it there. Okay, I hand tighten, but I'm going to hand tighten a little bit more. That's fine. There we go. The uh, one of the things too, I just show you real quick with this implant system. The screw itself is actually threaded after the screw is placed. The body of the screw is placed through the implant. Then they thread these so that you cannot exchange a, th a screw. You'd have to literally cut it off. So these things are either a welded or laser welded on somehow. Um, just part of the German technology. Um, they are offering a um, an overseas uh, open house to their plant, and uh, we were invited, but we're on a waiting list right now. So, um, okay, so we're on number ten. Ten is ready to go. Let's see if we can get the healing abutment out on ten. Or are they call gingival former. Use the smaller driver. Here it comes. I'll give that a helping hand. Great. Got it. Again, and if you look at the tissue health here, it's uh, it's beautiful to see that. Uh, again, a, a platform switching implant design. Um, similar to that of your bone level, uh, Strauman bone level. And I believe now Nobel has uh, crossed over to the idea of platform switching. Uh, it gives you an option at least. Okay, so we suctioned that out. That's a good shot of how the tissue looks. All right, and we got one more after this. Herm's sitting up right now. He can actually uh, watch a monitor, which is exactly what you all are watching. There. And you could feel that. As I push that in, that kind of just clicks into place. It's kind of nice. It's a real positive seat. And I'm going to use, again, an, a little longer driver. Actually, I can use a shorter driver on this one. That should be just fine. Yep. Let's try this again. Click it in. Yeah, you don't have to worry about screws falling out as you're trying to. You know, many times we have all those problems. Sometimes screws fall out in the mouth and everybody's hunting for them. Okay, so that's three. One, two, and three. See, it didn't take me very long. I got one more. 
So driver in, lefty Lucy, here we go. I keep, uh, there we go. I keep bumping into his hearing aids and we keep getting a feedback whistle. I hope everybody doesn't hear. Okay, here we go. Same thing. It's, it, it's, yeah, I think it is the metal of the watch. All right. Oh. Well, anybody blink out there? You know why? It's this water going to hit the mirror. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, uh, we just got a, a wave from the ocean. And, oh, there it goes again. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's show you all the way in now. I want to show you, take a guided tour all the way in. And you can see it's, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six definite areas. You can see that now. Uh, I'm not sure if that's perfect for you guys. Yeah, so you're seeing one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So th it's a definite configuration that uh, that invites a very precise seating. So here's the uh, the final abutment. And another thing about Atlantis, um, what they do is they also number the implant for you. See the 11? We know that's going on implant in number 11. And this is the milled surface. We want it serrated because we want to be able to uh, to make sure that the cement reduce retain and lock onto the abutment. A uh, nice polished look to the uh, to the lingual. All titanium, all precision work. All done with a computer. Here we go. Herm, we're almost done. It is, isn't it? Let me take it off. Nope. Let's see, one more implant to go in. There we go. This one I'll get with the longer driver. Turn that one a little bit back. There it goes. Yeah, it should bottom out right there. That's it. That's it. one's not behaving as well as the other, so let me find out what the problem is. So we'll take a look. All right, we'll rinse them out again. suction. All right. I'm going to take a quick break here. We'll get this last one in and then um, we'll show you how the uh, provisional works next. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We'll catch you on the next clip. Thanks for watching.